What is uncontrolled movement? That's a question often asked nowadays. Uncontrolled movement is more than simply hypermobile range or initiating movement in one place before somewhere else. Uncontrolled movement is effectively a lack of ability to control movement when required. For example, if someone bends forward and they have tight hamstrings and the hips don't flex enough, it's normal. It's not abnormal, it's normal to compensate by increasing flexion somewhere else so you can touch the toes or reach the ground. And the most common place to do that is increasing flexion in the lumbar spine. So as the lumbar spine becomes more flexible and can flex further through more range, it doesn't mean it's uncontrolled, but we can test for the ability to control that movement. We can test for the ability to do something not quite functional, normal function, but we can ask the subject, can they minimise or limit that flexion of the lumbar spine while they flex at the hips instead. The ability to do that demonstrates that the central nervous system can efficiently and effectively activate segmentally attaching muscles in the lumbar spine to limit or minimise lumbar flexion during a flexion loading activity such as bending forward at the hips. So that would be a test of flexion control. Uncontrolled movement is normally qualified by the site and the direction that there is a control fault. So for example, the, the hip flex, the bending forward example I just uh, described would describe an example of testing for lumbar, that is the site, and flexion, that is the direction, movement control. If you pass the test, and it, you can demonstrate that you can effectively and efficiently limit or, or minimise lumbar flexion during a flexion loading task, flexing at the hips. If you lack that ability to benchmark standards, if you lack the ability to control that movement to benchmark standards, you fail a test of lumbar flexion control. So uncontrolled movement is site and direction specific, and we can test for the ability for the central nervous system to effectively and efficiently control movement at a certain site in a certain direction, and we can also test them under certain thresholds of loading, low threshold or high threshold loading environments.